yeah. Someone that's afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, Suicide if you ever try to let go uh. What the hell is up guys, Harmonious here, and I'm starting my vlog at Plumber Park. This is gonna be just like any other vlog, me skating around my area in Hollywood, going to the OSS store later because I heard something's going on with the computers and they actually might need my help. But I figured I'd take advantage of this moment right here, or take advantage of this vlog to explain a little story that happened to me and Johnny the other day. As you guys can tell by the title, it has to do with me being assaulted, or basically me just being hit by a homeless dude in the back of the head. And I'm just gonna explain the whole story on how it happened, how it came to be, and what's going on now, because that happened about a week ago. But before we even start, Start that story I found a box right here at Plumber Park we have like 40 minutes to an hour before the sunset so I'm gonna try to do as many tricks as possible I've been watching my older vlogs and I didn't realize how many times I say do as many tricks as possible but I say that shit a lot but either way I'm gonna do as many tricks as possible for the millionth time over this box before the sun sets so let's get it more, more harmonious world out there harmonious That was a really fun ledge to skate and I actually, I knew it was attached to some porta potties but I had no idea that there was someone inside of there. I heard some noise going on inside and I thought I actually like broke something or some, some like water was going but it turns out some dude came out and I was like, oh shit, I'm sorry dude, my bad. I was like skating a porta potty that had some dude like using it while I was skating it which I guess was probably scary for him but either way, I'm heading to the OSS shop right now see if I can help out with their computer troubles so let's get it. This is the second time I've gotten a text from Adam or Chris basically telling me that the computer or the computer screen or one of the monitors is completely broken and they don't know what to do and I just basically just go over there, re-plug in the HDMI cord and it turns right back on. So I'm not exactly sure why that happens but their system is just probably all dusty and kind of needs to be updated. Either way, to get started on my story, as you guys can see I'm now on Hollywood Boulevard. Adam started to film a host chat at the studio so I decided to dip out and just continue filming my video right here on the boulevard. To start off my story, I'm not going to say that everything I did in the situation was completely correct and I did make a few mistakes that led to this whole situation even happening so I'm gonna be pointing those things out as I go along with the story it's getting kind of crowded in this part of the boulevard so I'm actually gonna head to a different private area to finish this whole story so let's get it To begin off the whole story, the night basically started off with me meeting up with Johnny J just to take some dabs in my garage before we go home and play some Fortnite. But on our way into my garage, we actually saw two people who I've never seen before in my building. One of them looked pretty clean cut and he looked like he wasn't really homeless, but the other person he was with was the transvestite and looked like they were sleeping on the streets. So I was already feeling fi kind of fishy about that situation. But like I said, the young dude looked like he was clean cut and looked like he possibly could have lived in yeah. Oh, you can't film in here? Oh, okay. No, that's right. I already knew I was going to get kicked out for filming, but I was just hoping that I'd be 
able to finish this story before I got kicked out. As I was going in the mall, I was actually thinking that I think I go there way too much because I go there almost every weekend or at least a couple times a week with my friends to either film on my skateboard, film for my vlog, and we always end up like causing havoc. And I know that the security guards probably have us memorized or just know that anyone that comes in with a tripod is probably up to no good, but that's probably me just giving a bad name for vloggers. I turned that light on because it felt a little bit too dark in here, but either way, to continue my story, Johnny and Jay and I sat down, I started taking out my rig, and we were setting up to start having a session, but then Johnny told me that he actually saw the female pulling on door handles and just checking if they were open or not. In this building, we've been having a lot of random people sneaking in, mostly homeless people, and a lot of theft on top of that, so I was, I was very upset that I saw these people pulling on door handles, so I thought I'd put my foot down and actually do something about it, and at this point, I already made my first mistake by confronting these people who were already trying to rob cars. I wasn't really thinking at the moment, but if a person's already in the position where they're um, robbing cars, and they're not going to confront you like a normal person would, they're probably going to use sneaky tactics or do something really sketchy if you do confront them. So I actually wasn't thinking straight, and I went outside with Johnny J, and I tried to get a video of these people's faces just in case they stole anything from my neighbors or caused any damage to any of the cars. Unfortunately, I was only wearing flip-flops. Johnny J had a giant backpack, his camera in his hand, and also another side bag as well. So neither of us were in the position of running, and by the time Johnny J and I actually went to the outside of my house and saw these people, they were halfway down the street. I could have easily just dropped it and said, screw it, let's go sesh, but this is my second mistake, and I, I actually really wanted to get a video of these people, just because I'm really upset that all these people have been sneaking into our building, and it really affects our, our feeling of uh, self-security, and, and our feeling of security in general. It just feels really sketchy to have random people going around your building at night. At this point, Johnny J had his skateboard, and I asked Johnny, can I borrow your board to skate down that way and get a video of these people's faces? This is the point where all the action actually starts. And I do have a clip of the whole situation. It's not that good of an angle, and you can't really tell what really happened. I don't have him hitting me on camera, but you can tell that I got hit. I basically skated down the street. Johnny J was walking right behind me, and since he was walking, he was much slower, so he was about half a block behind me when I took out my phone and started recording. Before I started recording, I came up to the guy and I said, hey, what's going on? Why are you in my garage? And he told me, hey, uh, me and my girl are homeless. We were looking for a place to stay. And I started telling him like, yo, we've been having a lot of robberies and a lot of sketchy people in our building. And I asked him why they were pulling on door handles. And at this point, he started getting kind of sketchy and he started just walking away, ignoring me. So I took out my phone and I skated in front of him trying to get a recording of his face. I got a little bit of his face on the side and I didn't want to be persistent just holding a camera in front of his face. So I turned around and I skated down the street trying to get a video of the girl that he was with as well. A little side note, I'm just assuming that it was a girl. It was obviously a transvestite, but I don't know who he or she wants to be. Just as I turn my camera around and I give my board a couple pushes to catch up with the girl, I get hit in the back of the head. And you can see in the video right here. By the time I picked up my head to see what the situation was, this guy was already running full speed. He already ran past the girl and Johnny J was running from behind me to catch up. And this is the point where I made another crucial mistake. I actually started following these two people with Johnny J in hopes of catching them and kind of detaining them, I guess, until the police come. Like I mentioned earlier, these people could have had a weapon, they could have had a gun, a knife. So it was basically just not worth it at all for me to follow them. But since I was angry that I got hit and also my ego was kind of in the way because this guy hit me in the back of the head while I wasn't looking I actually really wanted to catch up so Johnny J and I went on the hunt and just started chasing after these two people long story short they split apart we were not able to catch them but along the run I was calling the police notifying them what was going on they were telling me not to chase these people but I was telling them that I was really upset and I really wanted to catch this guy I had to speak to the police later on giving them a report of what happened to my building giving them a video of the guy and to my surprise the next morning I got a phone call from the police station detailing that he was arrested not even two blocks away from my house robbing another garage on top of that, the police officer actually told me that he's not going to face too much time in jail. Jails in California are already overcrowded and they're not going to keep someone for a robbery or for, you know, minor assault for that long. So this guy's going to be back on the streets in less than a month and probably robbing again. So me getting punched in the back of the head, me confronting this guy was completely not worth it. And even if I was able to catch up to him, beat him up or something like that, there's always going to be another guy who sneaks into my garage just because we have a huge homeless problem in Los Angeles. And I'm not blaming them or calling all homeless people bad people. But I'm just saying that Los Angeles has a huge portion of homeless people. A percentage of them are drug addicts and drug addicts are known for stealing, doing sketchy stuff, and just not giving an F. So that was my story right there on how I got assaulted by a homeless man in my garage. This was not clickbait at all as you guys can tell. It was only one punch to the back of the head and honestly, I don't even think he punched me with his knuckles. It kind of felt like he punched me like this just to distract me for a second so he can run away. So it actually wasn't that bad. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like in the like section. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. How did I 
handle it? Did I handle it incorrectly? Which I actually think I did. Let me know your criticisms below in the comment section of what you guys think I should have done in that situation. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. And I have to say a huge thank you to everyone who dropped the hashtag Harmonious Gang in Leonard the Plugs video. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.